I'm Naomi Wilkinson here with another GWR short story winner. So are you sitting comfortably for today's Trakanori story? Okay, here we go then with Mary Velios's magical train adventure. Mary is 11 years old. Here we go. It was as the GWR train was pulling out of the station that it first caught my eye. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. At the back of the train, there was a band of colour, like a rainbow flowing gracefully from it. What could this mean? Was this magic? Looking around, I realised there were no humans on board, only animals, that is, mythical creatures, unicorns, griffins, phoenixes, mermaids, fairies, dragons and many more. Was I dreaming? Everything was so unrealistic. I decided to explore the train and walk to the front where the driver was, but there was no driver. The train was working by itself and that wasn't the strangest part. As I looked out of the window, I noticed that the train wasn't even on a track. The train, as crazy as it sounds, was flying in the sky. From above the clouds, I could see the sunshine smiling at me. This was the best day of my life. After a few minutes staring at fluffy clouds, I went back to my seat. Soon the train landed. I had expected to reach school, but oh no, we'd arrived somewhere way better. We were in London. My eyes widened and almost bulged out of my head. Right in front of me was Big Ben. After going to a cafe and having a lovely scone, scone I walked along the river admiring London's skyline. The train was waiting eagerly for me when I returned. I was so excited to see where our next stop would be. When the train opened its doors again, I saw a giant building. I was gazing at the Taj Mahal. As I entered, I noticed so many pretty little decorations. It was like a fairy tale palace. Unfortunately, I couldn't stay long because the heat of India in my school uniform was unbearable. The train was ready to go. Where would it stop next? The train stopped, the doors opened, I stepped outside. It was still hot and for a moment I thought we were in the same place. The ancient ruins and beautiful mosaics amazed me. We were in Greece. Were people thousands of years ago really this talented? When I felt like I knew everything about this ancient civilization, I returned to the train. Fortunately, the next place was somewhat cooler. By now it was getting dark and I was getting tired. Once more, the train stopped and opened its doors as I stepped outside, I noticed a bright glow in the distance. Was that what I thought it was? Yes, the Eiffel Tower. It was lit up for the evening. I was in Paris with its lovely food and wonderful places to visit. At midnight, I made my way back to the train and sat amongst the magical creatures, almost nodding off. I didn't feel like going anywhere else. I just wanted to be in my bed, asleep. Suddenly, as if the train had read my mind, our next stop was my bedroom. I was sad stepping out of the magical train. I never saw that GWR train again, but I'll never forget my adventure. What a beautiful story, Mary. Thank you for that one.